Ah, uh, yes. Luke chapter 21, verses 5. Ah, hey, hey, cooperate. Through 38, really? Wow. The destruction of the temple and the and signs of the end times. You know what? There's a big prediction about it happening like in 2028 or something. In 2029, should I just be make a video looking in and exposing all the people who thought it was going to be the end of the world? If it isn't, calling them out for obviously being false teachers? Because you kind of are. If you get the end of the world wrong, please repent. <laughs> Even if you're an atheist, trust me. E. <coughs> Apologize for... I'm pretty sure, because if you don't, I'm pretty sure everyone's sick. Anyway, some of his disciples were remarking about how the temple was adorned with beautiful stones and with gifts dedicated to God. But Jesus said, <clears throat> As for what you see here, the time will come when not one stone will be lifted on another. Every one of them will be thrown down. <clears throat> Teacher, they asked, When will these thing things happen? And what will be a, the sign that they are about to take place? He replied, Watch out that you are not deceived, for many will come in, in, come in my name, claiming I am he, and the time is near. Wait, let's go over that verse again. Apocalypse sayers and no saying oh the bible tells you when the end of the world is or i know for a secret knowledge is all i did was read the bible or listen to jesus verse here 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 to figure out watch out that you are not deceived for many will come and say come in my name claiming i am he and the in the time is near So, to all of you, each and every one, I am highly skeptical of you. Maybe not calling you a false teacher yet, because looking at the time around, and yeah, I mean, it makes sense some people will be saying it's end times, but saying you know the date, you don't. The Bible, specifically here in Luke, calls you out and calls you it says about you, do not follow them. When you hear of wars and uprisings, do not be frightened. These things must happen first, but the end will not come right away. <sighs> do we have those rumors going on right now? Oh, yeah, we do. Then he said to them, nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there will be great earthquakes, famines, and pestilence in various places, and fearful events and great signs from heaven. But before all this, they will seize you and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and put you in prison. Oh yeah, Mike Wiener has done a little in times talking about it series. So some of other people have. Anyway, you will be brought before kings and governors and all, uh, and all on account of my name. And so you will bear testimony to me, but make up your mind not to worry beforehand how you will defend yourselves. For I will give you words and wisdom that... Uh, none of your adversaries will be able to resist or contradict. You will be betrayed even by parents, brothers, sisters, relatives, and friends. And they will put some of you to death. Everyone will hate you 
because of me. But not a hair of your head will perish. Stand firm and you will be and you will win life. When you see Jerusalem being surrounded by armies, you will know that this that its desolation is near. Then let those who are in Judah flee to the mountains. Let those in the city <coughs> get out. And let those in the country not enter the city. For this is the time of, of punishment. In fulfillment of all that has been written, how dreadful it will be in those days for pregnant women and nursing mothers. <coughs> there will be a great distress in the land and wrath against this people. They will fall by the sword and will be taken as prisoner to all the nations. Jerusalem will be trampled on by the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles are fulfilled. There will be signs in the sun and moon and stars and the earth. Nation will be against nation and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. People will faint in terror of apprehensi apprehens of what is coming on the world. For heavy bodies will be sh for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time, they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to take place, stand up and lift up your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. He told them this parable, look at the fig tree and all, it, and all the trees. When they sprout leaves, you, you can see for yourselves and know that summer <clears throat> is near. Even so, when you see these things happening, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly I tell you that, tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. <clears throat> Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Be careful, or your hearts will be weighed down with coursing, drunkenness, cursing, curse, cursing, something, drunkenness, and the anxieties of life. And that day will close on you suddenly like a trap. For it will come on all those living on the face of the whole earth. Be always on the watch and pray that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen and that you may be able to stand before the Son of Man. Each day, was, each day Jesus was teaching at the temple and each evening he went out to spend the night on a hill called the Mount of Olives. And all the people came early in the morning to hear him at the temple.